ChatGPT is a new chat-based artificial intelligence. And honestly, it's a little scary. It can do almost anything text-based. And supposedly, it can also write poetry. But is the poetry any good? To find out, I challenged it to a poetry duel. Human versus machine. Let's see who wins. All right, it turns out ChatGPT is being maxed out by the onrush of popularity it has reached on the internet and is getting all self-referential on itself. So um, I'm going to have to start with my poem, which is good anyway, because then I'll have a fresh, clean palette to work on it. So first, I'll just find a random word generator so I can get myself a prompt that I can then give the AI also uh, for us to have the same uh, springing board uh, for the poem. And I'll just pick the first one, the first Google result, randomwordgenerator.com, and let's see what it turns out with. So uh, three words, three nouns, inch, pair, kidnap. That's pretty good. Let's go with that. When I start writing a new poem on a specific prompt, I like to throw around some ideas and associations and kind of map out the conceptual space the words give me. So inch reminds me of inching ahead little by little, like an inchworm, a caterpillar, making slow progress. But also inches to me represent the imperial measurement system versus the metric system. Uh, kind of like a battle between tradition versus renewal of different systems. And the worm also brings to mind um, bugs eating a leaf and in turn being eaten by a bird. And the next word, pair, obviously denotes a duality, a couple, a union, but it also has the tech connotation of pairing up a device, as in Bluetooth, wireless connection, tethering. And the last word, kidnap, is a more violent word that I associate with abductions, holding hostage, demanding ransom. So I went ahead and wrote the poem on the prompt, and I called it Touching a Blade of Grass. It's February 2nd. 2023 and I love a good leaf. I love a good munch on said leaf. I love leafy love between my inchworm teeth. Though actually inchworms dissolve their food with their spit not with their teeth. But I walk my fingers on you like caterpillars. Touch grass. It's been a while. You. Yes you. I'd eat you, you big, green, beautiful, hairy beauty. Why do I like you so much? I've got the saliva for life, ready to digest. But it's February, the dead of winter, bare branches biding their time, and that was not a pun about teeth. Gotta make do with the screen. Open AI, I command thee, paint me some greenery. I love a good leaf. Oh, I love a good leaf. A worm fears the bird, the bird, the human, the human, the machine. But I am your master still. So kidnap me on a trip back to virtuality. A retina DeLorean, a glow stick piercing the eye, a neon sign writhing its way through time. I am becoming a device paired up, Bluetooth saliva, wireless tether and I inch along in my little life and ask does the bird love the worm as much as I love you does the machine love the human as much as I do you why the metaphor of devouring as loving are we as afraid of love as we're afraid of being eaten lost within a bigger being pairing subsumed a leaf obeying the tree I love a good leaf Oh, I love a good leaf. We're logged in to our artificial intelligence friend, ChatGPT. Now I'll give it our prompt. Write a poem on the topic of inch, pair, and kidnap. 
And let's see what it comes up with. It starts with the inch. And seems to be doing a lot of rhyming. A couple of stanzas. And it keeps going. Okay, that looks like it's done. Inch by inch we creep and crawl towards our goal no matter how small. Each step a pair, a tandem dance, bringing us closer to our chance. Yet lurking shadows do exist, a thread that's real, a twist. Kidnap a word, a fearful thought, taking away what we've fought. So inch by inch we must beware of those who wish to ensnare. Keep our guard up, stay alert, with, with each step a stronger heart. For inches turn to miles ahead, with each pair a stronger tread. And though kidnap may come our way, our strength will see us through each day. Which of the poems did you prefer? You can find out the winner in the comments down below. And please give me a like and subscribe for more ChatGPT slash poetry content. And also I'll be doing more writing experiments in the future. Bye.